Tomorrow, the city of Fort Worth will mark one year since a mass shooting left three people dead and eight others injured. It happened in the historic Como neighborhood hours after the daytime Como Fest ended. The annual community block party takes place on the city's west side near Diaz and Holmes Street. Tonight, Sydney Persing spoke with community leaders about the effort to increase security this year. Organizers don't plan to broadcast the specifics of their safety plan, but did tell me it will include a heavier police presence tomorrow, not only for the entirety of the Como Fest event, but also for the block party that follows it. Now that shooting, as you mentioned, happened hours after Como Fest ended last year. 11 people were shot here in the Como neighborhood. Three of them died. Two of those victims, they were just 18 years old, the other just 22. Two men were eventually arrested. Now it is important to understand event organizers have long stressed that shooting happened well after Como Fest had already ended. They've been clear they don't want that to discourage people from enjoying what's supposed to be really a very positive family friendly event meant to celebrate this neighborhood's rich history and all the people here. But they also told me tonight they do recognize the need for increased safety measures to make people feel as comfortable and as secure as possible. I understand the level of trepidation that that's uh, based off what happened last year, but I, the, I can guarantee that the security measures will be tight. And I think the best way that we can honor uh, uh, those precious lives of Cynthia, Paul, and Gabriella is by becoming solution-based so no other families will have to go through this. And Marcus there told me part of that solutions based approach is to work very closely with the Fort Worth Police Department on this. We've already seen officers out here setting up barricades tonight. Guns and alcohol, by the way, are also prohibited tomorrow. And again, organizers are really hoping folks will just come out tomorrow to celebrate this neighborhood. Marcus told me they are expecting to see up to 3000 people out here to enjoy food, live music, venters and a whole lot more. Reporting here in Fort Worth tonight, I'm Sydney Persing.